Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about King Frederick IV of Denmark's bigamous marriages. Frederick IV of Denmark was born on the 11th of October 1671. His father was Christian V of Denmark and his mother was called Charlotte Amelie. Now Frederick was actually allowed to choose his wife. That was good but it wasn't that good because he was only allowed to choose a wife from the Protestant princesses of Northern Germany. In 1695, he visited Gustro to meet the princesses there, but he had to cut his visit short because of the death of his brother, Christian. Frederick returned to Gustro later and he chose the eldest daughter to marry Louise of Mecklenburg Gustro. Louise of mecklenburg gustrow was born on the 28th of August 1667. She was actually related to Frederick due to the fact that she was a great-great-granddaughter of Frederick II of Denmark. They married on the 5th of December 1695. Frederick apparently chose Louise because she was beautiful and by all accounts the marriage was a happy one. Louise really fancied Frederick too with the French ambassador noting the crown princess loves her spouse intensely and he lives with her in complete bliss. They had two children together, Christian and Charlotte Amelie. But Frederick's infatuation with Louise passed and he began to take mistresses. Louise was absolutely gutted that Frederick had taken some mistresses, but at least they were only mistresses, weren't they? One of Frederick's mistresses was Elizabeth Helene von Rierag. She was lady-in-waiting to his sister Sophia Hedwig and was born on the 4th of May 1679. Frederick and Elizabeth Helene's relationship was first kept secret but it was soon discovered in 1701. Then on the 6th of September 1703 Frederick and Elizabeth Helene married. Now this was a bit of a problem because Frederick's wife Louise was still very much alive and they were still very much married. Frederick had committed bigamy. Frederick gave Elizabeth Helene the estate of Aunt Vorsgoff along with the title of Countess of Aunt Vorsgoff. They had one child together, Frederick, who sadly died when he was nine months old. Elizabeth Helene had sadly died during his birth. Frederick threw her an elaborate public funeral and then moved on to his next mistress, Elizabeth Helene's lady-in-waiting, Charlotte Helene. Frederick soon lost interest in Charlotte Helene and fell in love with a 19-year-old Countess Anne-Sophie Reventlow. And sophie Reventlo was born on the 16th of April 1693. She was the daughter of Count Conrad von Reventlo, the Grand Chancellor of Denmark. And sophie was described as beautiful and lively with black fiery eyes. They had first met at a masquerade ball in 1711. Frederick wanted to make Anne sophie his mistress but her mother refused for her daughter to become his mistress. So she removed her from court and took her back to their estate. On the 26th of June 1712 Frederick went to Anne Sophie's parents estate and abducted her from there apparently with the support of Anne Sophie's half-sister Christine Sophie and her husband. Frederick took Anne Sophie to Skanderborg Castle where they got married which was a bit of a problem because Frederick's first wife Louise was still very much alive and they were still very much married. Frederick had committed bigamy Again, Frederick gave Anne Sophie a house close to Christian Borg Palace and made her Duchess of Schleswig. Now, Frederick's bigamous marriages affected Louise deeply as it would. Louise had never gained popularity with the people and outside of role of queen in official engagement she was largely ignored at court. Louise's jealousy of her husband's lovers caused embarrassing scenes at court. It was said that Frederick could not enter her rooms without her beginning to cry, rise and walk about like a fury. This caused Frederick to leave her rooms in anger which caused Louise to walk around for three or four hours wringing her hands and crying. Louise died on the 15th of March 1721 and straight after her death 
Frederick married Anne Sophie on the 4th of April 1721. This caused a little bit of an upset because Frederick and Anne Sophie had actually married again due during Queen Louise's mourning period. Frederick had Anne Sophie crowned queen in May 1721. So there's a video about King Frederick IV of Denmark's bigamous marriages. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.